Hello everybody. I wanted to do a bit of a video on how I use my plotter to find fishing spots. Um, so I've been using the traditional um, Navionics plotters, um, reading between the contour lines, trying to identify ledges and so on. There's some cool settings that I use on my app that helps me look at the map a lot clearer and makes it a lot easier to identify those fishing um, spots, you know, looking for holes, looking for drop-offs and so on. Um, so if you're interested, keep watching this video and um, if you find it useful and um, you like the content, give me a subscribe on the channel. It will really help me. Thank you. Enjoy the video. All right, here we are looking at Shark Island from a top view. Um, as you can see, it's very hard to look at the details in terms of finding your ledges, finding your deep holes, finding structure, etc. Um, so I'll just navigate around and show you what the map looks like now and what it would look like after you apply those settings. Um, so just going from Shark Island, I'll take you all the way out to Long Reef, see what that looks like, and then we'll come back into Shark Island. I'll apply the settings and I'll show you again. So there you go, we're at Long Reef now. Can't really see much. All you can see is your contour lines. You can um, add more contour lines to it, but it will still won't be able to help you identify the structures. You might be able to see the ledges, but um, yeah, it's not very detailed. So if I just zoom back out and head over back to Shark Island, I'll show you the two settings that you need to apply. There we go. So we're looking at Shark Island. And all you need to do is go into your map options, turn on sonar chart, and then turn on relief shading. And happy days. Go back and have a look at it. All right. So what we're looking at now is Shark Island. Exactly the same view, but with the different settings. What you can see here is the island on top. Everything that's in red is shallow area. You want to stay away from it. But you can clearly see the drop-offs. Um, and other cool features I'll show you is if you go a bit over to the left, look at that, look at that level of details. You can zoom in and look at the shipwreck structure and everything you need to find out about your fishing spot. Um, I want to show you something very cool with this view. So heading over from Shark Island, if I had my traditional contour lines, there was no way I would have picked up that spot. But have a look at this one. Let me zoom in. So the ground goes from shallow into a bit of deep water, deep water, deep water. You're looking at 10 meters and then it suddenly drops or starts dropping into this beautiful little hole down the bottom there. Look at that. Very good details. Just makes it very much easier to find your prime fishing spots. If I keep going out and I'll take you back to Long Reef. You'll see what that looks like in a way. Zoom out a little bit more. And have a look at that. So much difference. You can actually see the structure underneath the water. And clearly identify your fishing spots. Here's a spot where I picked up a lot of kings, kings galore. And you can see why the king is hanging around just off the drop right there, down the bottom here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did like this video and you thought it was useful for you, please give me a like, comment and a subscribe on the channel. Thank you.